What's up out there YouTube? Double D here with Tournage Dubois. Welcome back. Today we have this crotch piece. Um, I'm pretty sure it's walnut, could be wrong, but what I want to do is I want to turn a bowl out of it with this being the bottom to keep that graining and feathering through it. So uh, let's get rolling. All right, so we know that this is a piece of walnut. I wanna find the rough center for where I wanna be. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut a tenon on the bark side of this. So over here, I'm gonna cut a tenon, that way I can flip it around and then put a mortise on this end for the bottom, because I want this to be the bottom, keep that graining throughout. So we will just wanna mark center on this and uh, be able to go from there. I'm not gonna put it on a face plate or anything like that. It's just gonna be between centers. So we have our center point marked and that way we will go from there. Well, as you can see, I decided to do a tenon on this side instead of a mortise. So we are going to go ahead and sand this up. Um, obviously, I've got a little bit of punky area on the wood here. So we'll mess around with that, figure out what we need to do. Got a little bit of checking. Actually, might just cut this back in just a little tiny bit more. Uh, this bark is obviously not going to stay on because it's just going to want to fall off. But we will uh, see what we can do from there and uh, get it going. So might shape this a little bit more, but other than that, we're going to sand, sanding sealer it, CA glue it, etc. So I want to do some sanding sealer on that first. 
so that the grit so that the glue doesn't stain the wood at all which it can do so sanding sealer then we'll see a glue it then we'll start sanding and possibly reshape just a little bit uh, and we will go from there so we have our myelin sanding sealer we'll put that on anytime you're using liquid around your lathe you definitely want to protect the bedways so my friend joe from my local wood turning club had all these uh moving blankets so he donated quite a few out so big thanks to jujo for that helps just uh easy easy to store easy to hang on to and easy to protect the lathe bed that way and we are back we got our sanding sealer on it so we're going to use our starbond black just fill in these little bit of checking here that way that sanding sealer keeps it from staining the wood then we'll be able to reshape that just a little bit get some of that off with the sanding but uh, there is a link down below in the description so if you need some starbond ca glue then you can definitely use that link you can also use the coupon co code double d 15 for 15 percent off of your starbond purchase and so that way you can get starbond at a better rate if you so desire uh, I love this stuff. It works really well, so I'm super happy with being able to use it. And I'm super glad that I can uh, have a coupon code to offer to people who need it on my channel. So definitely give it a try if you haven't. If you have, you know how good it is, uh, especially with the different colors that they offer. And go from there. And we have that flipped around now. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start hollowing it out. I am gonna leave the tailstock up just for a bit um, until I get some of this material out, maybe get it hopefully a little bit better in balance um, and go from there. Alright, we have that sanded up to 320 grit inside and out. So time for the denatured alcohol. So we can just see what it's going to look like. Also cleans up and stands that grain up just a little bit so we can sand it back. That feathering is just beautiful. Super happy I did it this way. That way. 
we get to enjoy that feathering rather than turn it away. So that's one of the joys of using the interior portion of the piece for the bottom because then you get to keep all that fantastic graining in the piece overall for everyone to see. So we will get this wiped down, finished up, let it dry, and then we will hit it with our 400 grit and go from there. Because this is live edge, I probably will not do the abrasive paste, probably just jump straight to the finish, but I might go higher than 400 grit as a result. So we'll take a look and see what happens. We are going to use our Mahoney's Walnut Oil finish on this piece, and we will get this all wrapped up. Hey everybody, welcome back. Hope you enjoyed that piece that we made with the walnut crotch. So I will go out and say that this feathering is absolutely spectacular. Absolutely love how it goes throughout the piece. Um, the coloring, the graining, the feathering is just phenomenal. Love the live edge look. Lots of fun with that. Always fun to try new things and get different perspectives on how the piece looks. So I hope you all enjoyed that project and enjoyed how I made it and hope you like the piece as well. Real quickly, I would like to take the time and give a big shout out and well wishes to Jackson, my good friend Ross, who I worked with several jobs ago and have kept in touch with. Um, he, he and his wife, Laura, they have a son named Jackson. Jackson's an, I've never gotten to meet him. Unfortunately, I did get to go hang out with, spend an evening with them. And I'll tell you, they can't stop talking about Jackson, how much fun he is. But that being said, Jackson was in an accident uh, about a week ago, week and a half ago, um, and has been in the ICU, underwent some surgeries and things like that, and is uh, really would be appreciative, the whole family I know would be appreciative of positive thoughts, prayers, good vibes, overall well wishes. So definitely wishing all of them my best, our best, my wife and I, Sarah. Definitely wishing you the best. Uh, hoping Jax has a speedy recovery and that everything goes back to being great on your front. So like I said, please send them some well wishes and definitely uh, send some positive thoughts and prayers for Jackson's speedy recovery on that. Uh, so keep it, keeping you in your thoughts, brother. And it's uh, about all I can say at this point. So if this is your first time here, please do consider subscribing. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down. Leave your comments, feedback down below. And like I said, send some well wishes to Jax and uh, Ross and Laura down below. Let them know that they are in your thoughts and that uh, everything will work out great. At any rate, we will catch you next time.